I'm putting off the inevitable. It's time to tackle this. 94 on Saturday, 91 on Sunday. It's not even June yet. I got to get this done. Yikes. Okay, so here's a closer look. We got the five gallon bucket. We got the kneeling pad. I like it to save my knees. Got some garden gloves. Got my landscape pins. And we have the weed barrier. So we got a longer roll, which getting down there. And then we've got a new roll, but it's shorter. And what we're gonna do is we need to weed all this out, put the weed barrier on it, and then we have to get some mulch. But you can see, I mean, with 90s coming on Saturday, already, what? Cheapers. You can see the weeds just take over. And once the 90s hit, it's almost like a greenhouse effect. These things are gonna grow taller than me. So you have to keep it in check. Even though I got a million things to do, Mr. Turtle, this is important, right, Ollie? So yeah, we got some stuff coming up in the garden here. We need to harvest some radishes. Our sugar peas are climbing. So that's a good thing. And Mr. Al, you keeping an eye on, on things here? Whoo! Yes, you, that's who. Wow, look at the radishes. They are ready to be picked, Mighty Mike. So we'll do a picking video then, but we need to do a maintenance video right now. Okay, so you can see at first glance, cleared a little bit of an area out here. We're gonna replant the bee balm, Minardia, or Minarda, I guess it's called. Ooh, the sun's starting to come out. Look at the, uh, the lettuce that we planted. It's looking really good. And we have spinach. So lettuce and spinach. And I found another thing of lettuce seeds. I don't think this one did very well. So we're gonna try again. Maybe we planned that too early, but I'm having to dig with this guy here. My pickaxe kind of guy, or pick I guess it is. And my other hoe here to go between the beds um, or the rows rather like that. So yeah, you can see, I started pulling these out, but they were breaking, so I gotta dig them all out. Look at all those strawberries. Holy smokers. This is gonna be a lot of work. Don't let this go happen. To, don't let this happen to your garden. Jeepers. on it. You know, the best time to weed is right after it rains. I love when you can see the raindrops on your flowers. Look at those irises. They're looking really good. And these are called mouse ears because they're so small. But they're hostas and they don't get very big and that's why they call them mouse ears. Look at the raindrops. And you have the hens and chicks. They're coming up. They're great to fill spaces like in a walkway like that. Boy, do I need to weed that area too. But look at these guys. They have babies. But when you're weeding after the rain, when you pull a weed out, I know this is, this looks like a daisy. I guess it's in the daisy family but it is a weed. We left them in there for a while. There's some dead stuff we can also pull out. 
stuff just comes out so much easier. Look at that, after the rain. What did you see, Ollie? Do you see something in the garden? Is it a bunny? He's our hound dog. So gardening is all about solving problems. And as I'm weeding here and I'm clearing this out, I realized that we had these nice heavy rocks, sort of flat, not really, <laughs> got my work out, and they were all covered up. So if we're gonna put landscape tarp on and then we're gonna mulch that, those are really nice. We'll find another place in the garden for those, right Ollie? And um, I took some dirt out of the one bed and backfilled here. And I'm just going to take this. These are all, um, this is just um, scrap soil from weeding the east side of the house. So that'll fill in there. And I think we're going to tamp it down and rake it out flat. And then we're ready to do the landscape tarp. That's the thing with a project like this. Don't get overwhelmed and think, okay, I'm going to get all this done in one day. But if you clear some time out each and every day, eventually you will get caught up and you'll have the beautiful garden that you desire. Yes! Good. Get sharp objects like that out, because that could puncture your landscape tarp. Looks good. Landscape pins. Good start. So I'm getting ready to share and dig some strawberries up, some strawberry plants, and look down, and look, there's a strawberry already. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Wow. That seems wow. to be early. 
But look at all those plants. Everywhere there's a flower, that's a strawberry. Here's some more. What is today, May 19th? I've already got strawberries. May 19th. That's pretty cool. Digging some stuff out for the neighbors. I'm going to be digging some stuff out for Joe at the thrift store, who is a subscriber. Thank you, Joe. But um, yeah, this is pretty cool. Gosh, I needed a day like today to work in the garden. Clears my head. It's fun. Do you have a garden? Do you enjoy it? really not that hard at all all right so we're cutting through the landscape landscape fabric and uh, looking pretty good so far we've got a nice base beautiful day for this and we're cutting the sheets accordingly putting our landscape pins in and so far so good it's a little wet because we just had some rain but I'll show you real quick what we're doing here so let's see landscape pin let's see the mallet You really don't have to use the mallet, but some areas are stubborn. Ground is wet, so they're going in pretty easy. But now they're fastened in there. And if we do a turn around, you look where we're at. Getting ready. Let's put the mulch down on this side. That's what we want to do with the rest of the garden. Still excited about those strawberries. That's pretty cool. But you can see, once you put that mulch on top, that'll help. But we got a long way to go and we got a lot of weeds to pull. Love that on May 19th, we're getting strawberries. We are also getting radishes. Let's take a look. Got our colander, and let's see if we can pick. So that's where you gotta thin the herd here, Mighty Mike. But they all grow together, and they don't get as big. And you take some out, and you give them room to grow. That's the best case scenario. Look at how it's popping out of that soil. See that? When you don't thin the herd, which I didn't do, you have small ones. Here's some big ones right in here. Or bigger, I should say. Not gigantic, right? How about this guy? That's a decent one. There's another good one. Wow, that 
that to Cherry Bell, I think, huh? Go to this side. Is it a French breakfast? Oh yeah. Look at that. Nice. These are delicious. And they're nutritious. Do you know that radishes are superfood? That's right. Super good for you. A little spice. Cut them up, put it in your salad. I like to eat them raw before I go for a bike ride or before I do any kind of strenuous activity. But yeah, the French breakfast ones seem they like they're ready the most. Oh, look at this guy coming out. Yeah, now we're talking, look at that. Nice. Let's see if I can find any more like that. Ooh, look at this. Look at this guy. Yeah. Nice. Get a couple more. You see, when they're ripe and they're ready to be picked, they come right out of the ground. You don't, there's hardly any effort. They'll tell you when they're ready to be picked by popping through the soil. I did not thin the herd with this one, so a lot of them are growing together, but, ooh, that's a good one. We're still doing pretty good. It was a very dry, ooh, look at that guy, now we're into a nice bunch. It's a very dry, windy spring and honestly i didn't water i probably should have but okay not too shabby pretty right next to the irises huh all right let's go cut these and wash them off and we're gonna try them It's a start, right? Look at those, aren't those delicious? Mmm. Instead of chips or pretzels or my favorite taste cookies. How about snacking some radishes? Mm -mm 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 good. All right, so this is how we started the video from up here. And you can see we have the first row in and we got a lot more work to do, but we um, went and hoed bed number one there with the lettuce to your right. And we harvested some radishes from the other beds there, four and five. Actually, uh, seven and eight. And we just had a good day all around. It was great to be outside. I wish I could spend more time working in the garden, but I have other things I have to do with Pick and Weeds Vintage. I didn't post anything at all today. So it's fun to garden, but got to get back to work now. So again, it's great to be out in the garden working, but then when you harvest your radishes, like this French breakfast, Nice to sit down, take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Enjoy. 
I'm Body Bike. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the new subscribers. We really, really appreciate that. Couldn't do it without your support. Until next time, I'm Mighty Mike. Happy picking, everybody. And happy gardening.